The Swiss Foundation BioVision is a promoter of sustainable agriculture. Founder Hans Rudolf Herren believes that innovation in agriculture encourages farmers to be more self-reliant. These complex methods provide farmers with a certain degree of independence from large corporations that sell seeds and fertilizers. Farmers are empowered by increasing their yields and becoming productive members of society. By producing more, they are able to contribute to the common good of the community. In East Africa, one of the ecologically based methods promoted by BioVision is the push-pull method of farming. John and Perez Oteep have two hectares of land in western Kenya. They've been using this new method for seven years. In the past, pests and parasites seriously hampered their work. In sub-Saharan Africa, the maize stem borer reduces the harvest value by several billion dollars. Another problem they face is striga, a weed that feeds on the roots of maize plants, considerably reducing yields. We work very hard, but we cannot get enough food for our home consumption. The push-pull method was developed after years of field research that resulted in a method that is both ecological and effective in getting rid of pests and parasites. It consists of planting desmodium in between the maize. This provides the push effect, as the stem borer is repelled by the plant's scent. Desmodium also keeps nitrogen in the soil and neutralizes the striga weed. The pull is obtained by planting elephant grass all around the maize field. This plant attracts the stalk borer, thus luring it away from the maize plants. Elephant grass is also a welcome source of healthy animal fodder. Push-Pull was co-developed by Indian agricultural entomologist Zayar Khan, together with local farmers. The farmers who are using the Push-Pull system are, uh, seem to be more understanding the farming system. And uh, they, do, they are smarter. They do the agriculture in a better way than the farmers who just buy a bottle of pesticide and apply. Since the Oteep family started using the Push-Pull system, they have harvested flawless maize cobs and their income has gone up. The yield has gone up from two bags a acre to 22 to 24 bags a acre. More than 96,000 farmers are now using this method in East Africa. Thanks to this, they can sell the surplus they produce on the local market. So why aren't more farmers in Africa switching to this method? Ecologically based farming is very knowledge intensive. It's not easy to convey this knowledge to every farmer. There is also a lot more research that needs to be done. A lot has to do with observing what nature is doing and copying it. It's about getting nature to help us.